Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and we're in the most excellent Daisy editor mod by uh, Inclement Dab. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to add more uh, loot and loot spawn points to particular buildings. Um, but also really kind of looking behind the curtain to really kind of show how things may well be working in terms of the central loot economy, the thing that pushes loot out onto your server, and how things might not be quite as obvious as you think, or might even be simpler than you think as well. So here we have the classic um, building sites that you get across um, Chernus. We're at the northwest airfield. Um, and one of the things I tend to always feel is that they're, you know, on a vanilla server, there's not enough stuff at these these building sites. You know, if it's a build an abandoned building site, there should be more tools hanging around, shouldn't there? And I always felt you'd look around and there wouldn't be that much stuff there. So is the problem the fact that there's not enough loot spawn points? Um, and we need to add some more in. So what we're gonna do first is let's just let's just look at um I survive to tell you how to figure out what names of buildings are. So this is one of the ways that you can do it. So if you know where a building is, um, but you don't know what it's called, if you go to the I Survive map, you know, um, just do a Google search for I Z U R B I V E, and then choose like Cherno or whichever one you want. If you zoom right in, you see these little coloured dots. If you click on one, that will give you the name of the building, which will come in useful when you're going through your XML files. And the XML files we're really interested in for the purposes of, of increasing loot in a particular building are map group pods. Map group proto and types.xml. So you'll find these um, in your missions folder. So this is a Daisy local server, but it's the same on your on your remote server. So you go into the MP missions folder, and then you go into your um, the particular mission you're running. So Chernus or Enoch for Livonia, or if you're on PC, Dear Eye on the Malsky, etc. Double click into there, and then in here you'll have map group pass, map group proto. And in the DB directory, you'll have the types.xml file. So MacBook Pause. So MacBook Pause has a list of all the buildings on your server that should spawn loot. And it tells the game um, the coordinates they're at and the orientation that they're at. So you've got the you know X, Y, and Z, so you know, north, east, sort of, and the altitude, and then what rotation, what roll pitching you're at. at. Because as you know, within Daisy, there's lots of the same buildings, isn't it? And, and each building that is the same will have the same loot spawn points inside of it and will spawn the same types of loot inside of it. There is an exception to that, and that is stuff that's tier controlled. So, for example, weapons. So if you have a military tent that's in the southeast of Chernerus, although the loot points will be the same, compared to a, uh, a military tent that is in the northwest of Chernerus, the one in the northwest of Chernerus will spawn higher end gear because it's in a, it's in a higher tier location. But for, for almost everything else, say for example, the for land mish, uh, feed shack, if we look to see how many of those are on Chernerus, so if we do a find all in current, so there's 117 of those little shacks across Chernerus. And, the, and map group pos is saying that this is where each one is and they're all there um, and they're at this orientation you know that this x y and z and this roll pitch and your and the game combines that with the map group proto so what the map group proto does in fact if we find the map group proto the map group proto tells the game within the land mish feed shack this is the point where you will spawn stuff in and these coordinates here these are relative to the coordinate of the uh, shack itself so minus and plus and stuff so, so they're not exact coordinates because you got to remember there's 117 of these feed shacks so each of them relatively could spawn some loot in here here and here now the loot max is two um, and that should spawn in tools contain uh, items that have category tags of tools containers clothes food or weapons on the floor and on the shelves um, and you've, you've got those three potential points um, and so you know so that's that's the way that works and then you types the XML this sport this tells the game how much of a particular item to spawn in but let's return to our problem of the land construction building so let's just um, Let's just copy that and let's go back to the map group proto so we know within the map group pause if we do a search for that 
there's six of these things. And then if we go into Mac Group Proto and do a search, there'll be one. So if we go to that, let's close this down. So this is the uh, Map Group Proto. So these are all the potential spawn points for items within the land construction building. Building, and as we can see, there are loads. <laughs> there are there are loads of potential places for stuff to spawn. So the problem within the land construction building, the building sites, isn't the fact that there aren't enough loot spawn points. It's the fact that there's not enough loot spawning there. There's lots of places for them to, to spawn. And what I'll do in, a, do in a minute is I'll show you how you could, you could add some more if you wanted to. Um, so what we can say, so within a land construction building, the UC's name is industrial, um, and it, it will be the category name is tools, containers, and clothes with loot floor, and then we've got some shelves, and then there's a weapons and explosive category as well, though they don't normally don't spawn many of those. So what we can say is that, well, actually, maybe what we should do is instead of thinking we need to add more spawn points, we should just increase the loot max by a little bit, say 40 to there, 30 to there. Again, don't go mad with this stuff. Maybe we'll increase that to 30. Maybe increase that to... In fact, that, that was lower, wasn't it? Let's go with... How many we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we could go up to I don't know, go up to ten, something like that. So now the loot max has, has gone up for the land construction building. However, that still might might not make that much of a difference because the problem could well be in our types that XML, because the whole central loot economy within Daisy is driven by the types that XML. So it doesn't matter if we've got more loot spawn points. It doesn't matter if the loot max has gone up. If we're kind of hitting the barrier of lots of stuff has already spawned in and the game isn't allowed to spawn anything else in. So I don't know, so if we did a search for, uh, I don't know, tools, let's have a look, there's probably loads of them out there. Uh, let's choose something else. Here we go, so barrels, for example. It could be the fact that we need to increase the number of barrels. So what you want to really do is think about the, the items that you want to increase on in terms of um, building sites in terms of items so maybe shovels pickaxes um, c4 all that sort of stuff and go through and increase those particular items you know don't don't go mad so my rule of thumbs tend to be 50 percent. so add 50 percent more of something and then really you want to be going through and taking away other stuff you don't want so maybe like uh, polka dot dresses and shorts and, and things like that and add more in and then what you will find is that these spawn points will then start to become um, filled up with more loot there'll be more chance of loot spawning at these particular spawn points and that will probably solve your problem however you're probably saying to me now well Rob you did promise that you're going to show us how to add more spawn points which I will do now so if you want to know how to do it um, what you want to do really is you need daisy editor mod on pc and you want to load it up and it's really easy all you do is you just go you find the particular um, building you want on the left hand side so land uh, construction for example there it is so that one and you just right click and loot edit and then you must do this on Chernerus don't do it on any other map um, and then what it does is it loads it up in like a, a blank area out in the sea and it's showing you where all the spawn potential spawn points are on the map that's what these kind of areas are how cool is this and as you can see right away we know you can really visualize the fact that this building does not need any more loot spawn points there are more than enough <laughs> they really they really are however if you wanted to add some more all you do is just double click somewhere and it'll add you, should, you probably should just be able to see that a loot spawn point like that so we can do that then when you come out of this by pressing escape those loot positions positions have been copied to your clipboard. So what you then can do is then you could do file new, and we can paste in. There we go. Our um, the the changes we've made. Now what this does is it pastes in all of the loot spawn points that are already there, and you'll find your new ones at the end. Now, what I should have pointed out, actually, let's just quickly jump back into this. Let me just go in and show you something as well that I should have done. 
is that you can actually, if you spawn in a new loop point, say for example over here, you can move that around as well. See how we're moving the loop point up around? So this is how you can place things on shelves, for example. Okay, so let's go back here. And so we've got these new loop points now that we could use, that we could then copy and paste back into our um, land construction building map group proto and add it. The thing you have to be careful of though, is that if we go to the top of here, we'll see they're all classed as loot floor. Okay, so if we wanted to, if we place some loot items, for example, on shelves, we'd have to make sure that we went down and we copied and pasted them into the loot shelves part of our map group proto for that particular item. And that would make sure, you know, it would, um, uh, ammo is often always on shelves, isn't it? Or, you know, it's on tables and it's on shelves. There's certain things that you won't find on the floor, but some things you will find on the floor. You know, like metal sheeting, that's always on the floor, isn't it? You don't find that on shelves. That's why that's quite important to, to make that distinction, otherwise things won't spawn in. And so you see that's really easy, but hopefully what I've shown you in this video is that actually the problem a lot of the time isn't the fact that there isn't enough spawn points. Um, the problem isn't the fact that there isn't enough chance of something spawning in. The problem is probably that there's not enough loot spawning in on the server in terms of types of XML. So you want to increase that by a little amount. Don't go mad. <laughs> Otherwise you'll start to break things. What happens if you put too much loot in a server? So you you know you treble stuff, you know, you hundred times it, you end up with these odd bunches of loot. You know, you just have like tents everywhere or you just have like hard hats everywhere or polka dot dresses everywhere. You, you need to give the server, the central loot economy, space to be able to do its job so it doesn't get overwhelmed. So for particular things, I would say, you know, maximum is kind of adding half again, but try and take other stuff away. And that doesn't mean you can add half again for everything on your particular server, just for the things you're particularly interested in. Okay, so hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.